Hey guys, Liftmaster Door Guy here. Uh, we're here today. Uh, we're looking at the Automatic Doorman Model 455. Uh, also, quickly too, I'm using my iPhone. The batteries are dead in my uh, camera, so was hoping that this will be a good quality. If it isn't, I'll go ahead and re-upload it at some point. Uh, but anyway, Automatic Doorman Model 455. Uh, this was a working pool. Uh, it was on a wood door and that door rotted and they decided to replace the door and the opener uh, so here we are uh, I don't know if this is made by somebody else and just the name automatic doorman is put on the side or if that was a company uh, I really don't know nor do I know a date on this opener all I know is it's an older one definitely no safety sensors or anything on this um, kind of a octagonal case um, Pretty weird shape. V belt primary drive, uh, and the limits inside this are what you'd find like in the uh, Rainer 270 7 that I showed you. Uh, they've got the cams that move up and down the threaded shaft, and you got this one you got to open up to change the limits. Uh, one piece T rail, and uh, the emergency release here, I'll kind of get a good view of it. Uh, I don't have a rope on it, but what happens is this little pin here when you pull when you pull this this is where the rope would be tied and you pull this down and it'll pull that thing out that normally engages uh, up in the piece that's on the chain uh, door update uh, you can see that I've added these little pieces of track in here uh, one on that side and one over on this side and what that did is that eliminated the flop of the top panel and uh, so now this door is fairly silent. I mean, in reality, I made kind of my own uh, low headroom track. Uh, and the reason I didn't use conventional low headroom track was because my the vertical pieces, you know, would have been shorter. When the door is open, it would have been down much lower in the room. And the low headroom thing was kind of an afterthought. I was hoping that those hinges that I had originally would be a permanent solution but I, I just didn't like those so we're gonna run this door for you with the automatic doorman model 455 and uh, the liftmaster model 355 LM here we go get a feel for the opening This is a thermal light in this. Uh, quick feature about this opener, I'm guessing this is probably a safety feature. Uh, when the opener is going up and if you hit the button, it will not stop. It does not stop. So, I mean, that's not safety related. But when it's running down, if I hit the button once, instant reverse. It will not stop going down. Or, I mean, it will reverse going down. It will not stop going up. Show that to you. Love that new door setup. I mean, that's much quieter. Really good. So going up like that and hitting the button, not doing anything. Nothing here is doing anything. So there's that. Run it down one more time show you my top pictures of my door. I love this door. It came out really nice. And they'll roll right down and right along that little piece of track and top panel will go right shut. So there you have it. The Automatic Doorman Model 455. Uh, check back soon. Hopefully I'll have a regular camera. Uh, I don't know what kind of a video format this is going to output. So we'll, uh, we'll get it on YouTube and see what happens. Um, I've got uh, another video I'm going to try to get up tomorrow, and uh, that's a surprise. And uh, also uh, another opener of, uh, well, I guess I can say the older style Rainer Aviator, but I'm not sure. Uh, and I know you're all thinking, what? Um, let me show you that Aviator that I've got. So you can think about that, and in a couple days I'm going to upload that. Beautiful. Okay. So here's the older style case. One light. 
This is just kind of an intro. I'll get into the details on this thing later. Um, this is a 2280. And that's all I'm going to say. I'll show it to you uh, when I get the video up. Good machine, though. I love, I love that older style case. Love it. Uh, I'll show that to you in a little while. Alright. Check back soon for more videos. And uh, subscribe to the channel.